It's a lovely day in the world of Amazon Bookstore and all is well. Children are playing in the fountain, people are curled up in little nooks reading, but everyone's not that impressed. So is it going to work? It's been established that Amazon.com Inc. plans to open hundreds of brick and mortar stores across the country in the next few years. While some Seattleites moan and groan about the vibe and the variety in the bookstore, I find myself asking, are the Amazon bookstores really going to be a thing? I think so. Let me break it down. Same cheap prices online, they've narrowed down the selection mostly just to current bestsellers, and you could use your phone to search for prices and shelf locations. And if you want to just chill out in there all day and just play with the Amazon Echo like Missy Elliott or Alec Baldwin, it has a similar appeal as a visit to maybe the Apple Store. So, more investments, more bookstores, potentially less online reading? Is this the new slash old frontier of book reading? This spike in shares may contribute to the growing feeling that physical books are experiencing a resurgence of popularity. Maybe it's that our eyes are on our phone screens nearly half the day, so it seems like a nice escape to wrap up in a blanket with a paper-bound novel. While it's not public yet the girth of the expansion, Amazon has posted several job openings related to the brick and mortar stores, including jobs for curators of nonfiction, literary fiction, and children's books. Postings for store managers in the San Diego area are also amongst these postings. So maybe Seattleites are Simon Cowell's of critics, eh? I guess it's California next on the agenda. Do you think they'll be more of the Paul Abdul type or the bitter British guy? Subscribe to Pentatech page and tell us what you think. I'm Carly Kovac with Pentatech.